Hey everybody, if you're anything like me, you love your fishing and your baiting, your YouTubing. When you pride and joy gets a hole in it when you're out in the boat and you're standing your water up around your ankles. And uh, you think, hmm, the YouTube content there, fixing me boat. So yeah, I did put any good YouTuber did and I YouTube what people are doing to fix their boats and come up with um, aluminium brazing, it's all the rage. And uh, yeah, so I looked at it and looked at getting the stuff and the like, trying to learn how to do it and all that stuff and yeah, anyway could have been about 70 bucks all up by the time I bought the gas burner and brazing rods and then hopefully got it right so yeah I did something else um, stay tuned and see what I did hey everybody Norm here um, last weekend when we took the boat out He's got a bit pear shaped. Um, went out and caught a fish. Um, everything was going good. Then we tried to motor off and um, back of the boat dug in. Uh, the bow was up in the air. I uh, backed off and all this water come rushing up the, the floor of the boat. It sprung a leak. Um, I didn't video it and was too worried about what was going on. Luckily, I'd fitted a bilge pump and um, I mean, it wouldn't sink anyway because of the boat collars, but still it was a bit unsettling. Um, so now I've got a holder patch. It's, um, let's see how it goes. Okay, this is what we discovered. Um, we actually the boat set up wrong on the trailer. And I'm by no means an expert, but I'm going to change things up a bit. Um, this part of the boat's dented up here um, on this skid. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. Um, right here is a crack um, that's formed on the edge of that skid. Um, so I'm going to readjust the trailer, bang that ding out. I'm going to move the bait forward because um, ideally I want this right angle or this strongest part of the boat on top of this skid, not behind it. Um, that's what's caused the problem here. Um, it's too far back from the point of this waste set on the hull of the boat and um, just dinged it up. So I'm going to measure this in that bolt back to where the boat is. And I reckon 130 mil. So I reckon if we take it, take it back 75 that way towards the car, um, this is going to give it a lot more strength on the trailer and um, hopefully it won't repeat the problem. So we've got four nuts here on these uh, U brackets, back them off, move forward 75 mil. 75 mil, little mark there. 21 mil nut on the all mil socket. Okay, we're now gonna unhook the boat from the trailer. That's a good start. that comes forward. Alright, it's unhooked. There's me a little text to mark. Hopefully. No. Of the boat. So hopefully, we can just tap this forward. There's your mark. Everything's going to be readjusted. So. Rollers, there's too much weight on the hull, on the trailer. Oh, 
that's nice and tight. Pull the boat back up. Engage ratchet. Pull the boat up. Now let's have a look at the back of the boat. All right, so the back of the boat now is supported under that skid. Um, probably um, where it should have been. Look up there, you can see that dent. See if we can see the crack from the other side. Okay, there's the crack. Just there, uh, a bit hard to see, but it's, it's visible. All right, so that crack is um, <clears throat> under that fuel tank, which also has a, a little subfloor that I've put in you know, for the fuel tank to sit on. So I'll do a bit of work to get to the actual hull of the boat to uh, try and flatten it out a bit and um, get a patch on this crack. Yeah, let's have a look, see how it goes. Well, that was harder than I hoped it'd be, but anyway, we've got the floor out and uh, we can see the crack. Let's have a look. It's um, probably not in the best spot, but anyway, we'll do our best. The crack's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Anyway. Okay, so the crack's a bit worse than I thought it was. Um, <coughs> yes, oh well, it'll be what it is. I googled aluminium boat welding repairs. What a great idea that was. Jensen Welding and Fabrication came up as the top recommended search. Ben's a legend, recommend him highly. What a beautiful repair. How good's that? Welded both sides, top and bottom. That ain't never gonna leak. Much better than brazing. So to cut a long story short, don't worry about brazing or patching your boat. I'm a paid professional, a tradesman. Someone who knows what they're doing. If you fix it properly, it'll last a lot longer. And you know what? It wasn't that dear. So, um, yeah. Saw so professional help you for you try and band-aid your boat, get it fixed properly, and um, it'll probably last you a lot longer. Thanks for watching, people.